Civil engineering is everywhere. It's in every road you drive. It's in the clean water you drink. It's where you live, work, and play. It really is all around you. Civil engineers help improve the lives of millions of people every day. We're going to meet three civil engineers and look at some of the real ways that they're helping communities right now. America's waterway system is home to an entire ecosystem. The animals that live in the water depend on us to keep their communities clean. This is James Wannaberg. James is working to create a healthy habitat and ecosystem in Washington, D.C.'s Potomac River. He's a resident engineer for the Blue Plains Tunnel, part of the D.C. Clean Rivers Project. This tunnel project is using a massive drill that's almost 30 feet high and over 400 feet long. This is my office. We're, uh, we're here for DC Water working on the Clean Rivers Project. This project is, uh, is intended to eliminate sewer overflows into the DC waterways, uh, which ultimately go down to the Chesapeake Bay. So we're cleaning up the rivers. Uh, right now we're working on a deep tunnel. It's called the Blue Plains Tunnel. And uh, this is going to capture stormwater underground and allow that to be treated later after a big rain event. Uh, the tunnel boring machine we're using here is an amazing piece of equipment. It's, it's fantastic. It's a 26 foot diameter uh, and it uh, bores horizontally underground uh, like a drill and uh, it holds back all of the earth pressures and the hydrostatic forces that are below ground at that depth. It also allows us to install the precast rings. They're made out of concrete precast segments and that ring forms the pipe that will be there permanently after we're finished digging the tunnel. Civil engineering is a, it's a fantastic profession. Uh, it's, it really deals with engineering all of the world around us. Uh, there's infrastructure on the surface, uh, things that people see and use every day like roadways, bridges, uh, things of that nature. Uh, then there's also a tremendous amount of civil engineering below the surface that no one ever sees. And that's what we're dealing with here. Uh, in, my, in my view, that's uh, one of the best parts of civil engineering is working on the underground side, and it's, it's, it's so much fun. I never imagined I'd be able to work on something this cool, but I always had an interest in big projects. I love being a part of it. It's a great mission. I come to work every day excited to do this, and we can't wait to see the end result of all the hard work. My name's James, and I'm a civil engineer. Hurricanes can destroy entire communities that then take years to rebuild. Maggie Jakes is a civil engineer who went to Haiti to help restore clean drinking water after the hurricane. Maggie was forever changed through her experiences in Haiti, helping a desperate community and touching lives. So my junior year in college, uh, my professor did a presentation on his trip to Haiti and what he found when he was there. And their biggest problem was drinking water. They didn't have clean water to drink and thousands of people are dying each year because of this. Uh, so he was trying to get civil engineering students from Merrimack to travel there. 2011, we traveled to Haiti for the first time. Uh, we went to a town called Marmon, and this is where severe cholera outbreaks hit every year. Um, there's a big clinic there, and we saw all the cholera tents still set up from their recent outbreak. The system was damaged by the 2010 earthquake, and it was broken in a few places, but the water was relatively clean. So we made a few repairs to that, and they were just so grateful that we were there. Because we were there, we gave them hope. In the United States, we're really lucky to have access to clean water, and that's thanks to years of hardworking engineers. My experiences in Haiti and um, my later years of college really opened my eyes to how many possibilities there really are for civil engineers to help. My name is Maggie Jakes, and I'm a civil engineer. Ah, baseball. The crack of the bat. The roar of the crowd. The amazing ballparks that are home to our national pastime. Meet Aaron White, the civil engineer in charge of designing the hurricane-proof retractable roof at the Marlins Park in Florida. This is the first roof in the world that was designed for a Category 5 hurricane. Uh, it weighs roughly 7,800 tons uh, of steel, and uh, it was actually designed to be positioned in a slightly open position for the hurricanes to let wind into the space and then back out to decrease the wind pressure on the roof. Obviously, anytime there's a threat of a rainstorm during a game, uh, you have the problem of the rain delay. And if you know Miami, it rains here pretty much every day during the summer. So they have the ability to close the roof very quickly if there's an impending thunderstorm or rainstorm. So there's a guarantee that the game's going to happen every night. And that's extremely important. Uh, the mechanization is very efficient. Uh, it's designed so it only costs about $10 in electricity to move the roof open and close. 
So early on in the design, we tried to establish what the minimum height of the roof over the playing field actually is. So we uh, scoured the internet and found some equations that are put out uh, by NASA, I believe, for the flight of a batted ball. And through those equations, you can actually calculate the flight of the batted ball at all different angles of the ball leaving the bat. So if it goes straight up in the air, it goes straight horizontally, or it's some uh, nice trajectory of a line drive. And so we actually created those shapes uh, early on and put them over the playing field to make sure that the shape of the roof that was above the playing field would never uh, come in contact with a batted ball. We really interact with a lot of people, so there's a, a common conception that engineers just kind of go in, the, in their office and work by themselves doing calculations, but that uh, couldn't be further from the truth. I'm Aaron White, and I'm a civil engineer. Civil engineers have cool jobs. They're creative and innovative people. They make an impact and change lives, making our world a better place. The bottom line, if you want an amazing career that makes a difference, then do something real. Be a civil engineer.